channel so today I wanted to do something really simple I wanted to do a video on how to clean your catheter and I think it's very really important because we're supposed to be doing this every day and every time it gets wet so I've been told that you can get into private pools and you know the reason it's private is because people be peeing in those pools so we all know this but we like to ignore the fact that they do but with our catheters with our life-saving catheters um we can't go into pools like that we have to get into private pools clean pools make sure the family knows exactly what's going on with your catheter so they don't try to pee in the pool or you know a good rule of thumb is that if there's children under the age of i'm gonna say 12 they might accidentally pee in the pool you don't we don't know you guys okay so let's just be safe you know don't go into lakes moving water is the best water when it's standing still bacteria likes to creep up in there every doctor says something different from what i've experienced some doctors when they hear that i'm going into the ocean they're like no 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 you can't do that and in my head i'm like yes 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 i can you know like i personally love the ocean it's my favorite thing to do i could go to the ocean every day i just feel like the ocean is my happy place so if my doctor said i can go in the ocean my hair is just crazy today if my doctor said we can go into the ocean i'm getting into that ocean okay and i have not had any issues i just clean my catheter inside the car make sure you take all your stuff and don't just take like enough for one cleaning just take everything you guys because things happen <laughs> okay so private pools and beaches i think that's the only thing um i'm gonna be totally honest with you guys i have gone into a couple rivers and it seems to be fine i haven't had any issues i'm very this is horrible you guys but i'm very i'm gonna say lenient or liberal i don't know what other word to use but i'm very liberal with stuff like this i think that's the wrong word <laughs> but when it comes to my catheter, I'm safe to an extent. Like if I feel like the water is safe, I'm gonna get into the water because water is life, you guys. That's been my saying since I was little, okay? Me and my brother had a debate. <laughs> I know this has nothing to do with this, but me and my brother had a debate. What is the color of life? He said green, I said blue. He says green because of the trees. It gives, you know, oxygen. No, no, no it's blue because without water no one would survive those trees would not survive without my water so boom i win <laughs> let's go back sorry i got off track but yes i have gone into a couple of rivers but i made sure they were clean i could see through the water it wasn't all cloudy i'm gonna say the water was not cloudy i just went in because it looked good <laughs> it looked like drinkable water so i just went in and i made sure i cleaned my catheter after something i would advise against completely is baths i would not take a bath you guys don't do it just and if you do want to do it you have to clean that tub really good and shower before you take the bath, which honestly people should do regardless, even if they don't have a catheter, cause that's just nasty. So shower before you take that bath, because if you don't, you're scrubbing yourself in that water, that dirty water is going inside your catheter. It's just, it's not pretty, don't, don't do it. I have personally, I have never gotten a catheter infection so i can't really say on experience about how it feels or how it looks like i've only seen pictures from my um from my nurse and honestly it just looks 
really bad like it looks like the hole is bigger it looks brown there's stuff coming outside of it it just please you guys take care of it <laughs> Yeah, my nurse said that if that catheter goes bad, that they replace it with another one. So you have to go through that whole surgery again, and it's just... Why? Why do it again? Just take care of what you have. That's your lifeline. Just remember that. That is your lifeline. Okay. So, without further ado, here we go. sure how everybody does it but that's how I do it so how we're gonna start we're gonna take this off I always take this part off first I don't like to throw the things away right away because like let's say you just got out of the shower you need somewhere to put your catheter. So I just like to put it right there. So, as you can see, this is my catheter. It looks clean. I like to check it every time I clean it. You know, there's no drainage. Um, it's not a big hole. And it, it looks clean, it looks nice, you know. So we're gonna grab two of the non-woven sponges. I feel like they should have different names, but that's the name it has. We're gonna put some of this Except Plus on it. This thing has um, a mild smell. It's not um, strong. You're gonna put this on it. It's completely soaked. You're gonna start like this underneath and go around. It might drip, that's fine. And then clean around like a circle like this. Go around, go around, go around. So it's like that, okay? So it's all wet. Sometimes you will see that there's stuff inside of the, like if you you see how there's something right there? Um, my nurse always told me not to dig it out because you're gonna, it can cause effect infection or something. But um, what I like to do instead of trying to dig it out, I, I just try to do it again. And if that doesn't work, then it's fine. It, it'll come out by itself okay so don't force it just just let it be so right here we have to let this dry obviously i also forgot to say to make sure that you're in a closed area the ac is not on make sure your area is clean we're gonna grab tape i would say like two and a half inches my measurements can be wrong because i'm not actually measuring it so I'm gonna put one right there. Do the second one right here. And then the third one's gonna be short because it's just to hold the catheter in place. And I like to take the tape out first so that I'm not like holding it and trying to take the tape out. Like that's just not convenient. So I'm gonna put the, the sponges right here. Open my gentamicin. <laughs> this one I actually get at my pharmacy. So you're gonna squeeze like a a pea size on here, and uh, make sure you close. 
this thing. Don't leave it open. Don't leave anything open. And then just put the pea size. I put it, I like to put it right underneath the catheter so that it goes like close to inside. Like, if, okay, if I take this off, look, it's all on top of it. You can't even see the hole. I feel like that's how it should be. So something I would like to also say is that this part of the caster is very um, gentle and because I haven't really um, taken care of it, that part has been cut many times and they would have to put a whole new end to my catheter. And then you have to take antibiotics, which really sucks. When you're putting this tape, make sure that however you have a catheter, like for me, for example, I put it in between my bra. So I have to make sure that however I put the tape, it's not gonna be bending this part. And as usual, they always say to make sure this is tightened so that it doesn't undo by itself. And then and if it does undo, you would have to do the antibiotics. So it's really good to make sure that this is tightened, that this isn't being bent however you're placing it, and that this tape is securely holding your catheter. And there you go. There's the cleaning of the catheter. <laughs> Say. Ooh, what was I going to say? Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, yes, yes. All right, you guys. So I hope this catheter video was helpful for you guys. I hope my helpful hints were useful to you. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment box. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys here next week on Tuesday for my helpful hints. Bye!